where books matter. It's terrific. Paranoid? Probably. But just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that there isn't an invisible demon that wants to eat your face. Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden is a wizard. There's a note or there's a sign on the door of his office that says so. He's also in the Yellow Pages. His ad in the Yellow Pages says, Lost items found, paranormal investigations, consulting, advice, reasonable rates, no love potions, endless purses, parties, or other entertainment. Harry Dresden is also a licensed investigator, and that's what he does. He tries to use his wizard powers to help people solve problems that other, that uh, officialdom can't help him with, can't help you with. The book itself that I'm about to talk about is called Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Maybe I should have said that up front. Stormfront by Jim Butcher, The Harry Dresden Files. And I, I've read Stormfront, and I loved it. And I've always wanted to have a good copy of it, and I hope that I got one. There's a couple of publishers, Subterranean Press published, I think it was the first uh, limited edition version of Stormfront, and then later Grim Oak Press published one, and I was late to the party, didn't get either one of these things, and now I'm not interested in paying secondary market prices for either of those books, not that they're not worth it, I just don't want to pay for it. So I was pretty tickled when I saw that Easton Press was going to be offering a signed version of Stormfront. And uh, just a little bit, uh, a little bit about the book. Um, Harry Dresden is a, is a wizard and a licensed investigator. And however, business is not great. There's a wolf at the door. He can't pay the bills. He's behind on his rent. He works, takes jobs just to pay last month's rent, but he's past due on this month's rent. So he's not in a great place. And he, uh, he gets a client that says her, uh, her husband is taking up wizardry. Um, and now he's missing. So he's been dabbling in wizardry, and now he's missing, and she wants somebody to help find him. She doesn't believe that the cops can help. At the same time, Harry's got a standing relationship with uh, Lieutenant Murphy, from the Chicago Police Department Special Investigations Unit. It's kind of a quiet, uh, almost, maybe you could compare it in a way to the X-Files. They take on the weird cases, and uh, Murphy has a, relationship, has a, a professional relationship with Harry, knowing he's a wizard. She brings him in, pays his rate to help, uh, to help her solve cases. So he's brought in on this, uh, on a case here, where basically there's two people in the uh, in the act uh, engaging in the act of coitus uh and they've got their hearts ripped out of their chest it's not like somebody reached in and tore a hole through their chest it's as though they've been forced out and only a wizard can do it and there's a whole bunch of people that believe only harry dresden wizard could have done it so while the cops are bringing him in to help with the investigation everybody else kind of suspects him and at some point the cops kind of suspect some of the cops anyway kind of suspect him as well there's also a, an executioner from the white council the white council is basically the the wizard police the group the wizard government they decide what wizards can and can't do and one thing the wizards can't do is use wizardry to kill other wizards and the book hints at a past where Harry was forced to use wizardry to kill another wizard in self-defense. And they find that it was in self-defense, but he's, he's on his last leg. One little slip up, and there's an executioner named Murphy with a, the sword, I think it's the sword of Damocles, who's ready to send Harry out to, to remove his head. And he can't wait. He's always looking for the opportunity, watching Harry at all times. Can't wait for the chance to do it. Now, some of the things about this book that I really like, I love old, hard-boiled detective novels. I like those things. And this has a lot of elements of those. Harry is, a, is an investigator. And you, you do get some of that, some very close similarities. It also has a bit of that urban mercenary type of, uh, of vibe to it. 
Uh, I'm a big fan of F. Paul Wilson's Repairman Jack series. And I get a little bit of that in there. I'm not comparing Dresden and Jack in any way, but I get a, few, a little bit of that stuff too. Uh, plus, you get wizardry in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, it's a nice, a cool blend mixture. Harry Dresden is not one of them BMF guys that's out there blasting people and all that. He's a, he's a humble guy. He kind of just wants to get his stuff done. He doesn't want to go out and be uh, one bad dude or any of that kind of stuff. And at times, he seems very vulnerable. But also at times, he seems like he could rain hellfire, man, and just destroy everything at a whim. So you get a nice mix uh, uh, with a Harry Dresden character, and I like it. There's a little bit of fun, a little bit of lightheartedness. It's not too, too heavy. You kind of get the feeling all along, well, spoiler alert, there's a big series of, of Harry Dresden books. And the second one, Full Moon, I'm hoping uh, Full Moon, I'm hoping that Easton Press will come up with a, with another one of those. And uh, um, maybe maybe I can get a chance to get some of the other publishers, or uh, one of the other publishers to publish that book and I can get one myself anyway. But uh, Harry's got the White Council on him. He ends up having the police department on him. He has Murphy the Executioner on him and he's got a bad guy on him. The whole world seems to be after Harry Dresden to take off his head and he's got to find a way to head them all off at the pass and come out of this alive. So if you have any interest at all at reading a good book, read Stormfront and then read Full Moon and then read on and on and on. A very neat series. Anyway, I came here to unbox a book in a box. So let's get on with that. I'm a big fan of the Easton Press. I, I like their books and I, I buy a lot of them. And I will buy a lot of them as they come out. But when I saw that, that this book was was up for sale, I did. I was decided I wasn't going to wait around for some sale or anything like that. I paid full price for this book, and it was a hundred and forty-one dollars. That's what it costs. Free shipping. I I know if you wait around, if you shop around, patience and persistence, PP as I call it can help you get the good deals. And sometimes I got pee pee. And sometimes I procrastinate and I wait and wait and I get the good deals. But sometimes I just want the book. And this was a case of one of them times where I decided I needed to get the book. Uh, Easton Press, the typical form of packaging, they ship it in a box. They have a little extra space on the ends because the ends are what often gets beaten up. And it works. It's worked for me, knock on wood. So far, I haven't had an Easton Press book shipped directly from Easton Press that was damaged. So far, they've all been in great shape. And I'm hoping that this version of Stormfront is no different. Let me get this plastic off. One of the cool things that they do that helps to protect the book is they wrap it in plastic before they put it in the box. And so... Some sellers I've bought from will put a book in a box, and when the box, when the when you get it in, the book is rubbed around in there some while it's moved, and it scuffs up things like dust jackets or slip cases or leather book covers and stuff like that. So putting it in plastic and then putting it in the box helps to protect it from the scuffing, and then the the folded cardboard about that thick on the ends helped to protect it from dings on the corners. Now you've really only got to worry about stuff getting bashed from the side. And like I said, so far I haven't had an Easton Press book shipped from Easton Press damaged in the mail yet. And uh, uh, But if it is, it's probably because somehow that book's going to take a hit or that box is going to take a hit on the side. <clears throat> so let's take a look at our Stormfront by Easton Press, there is my front cover and the spine. When you put this thing on your shelf, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the spine. Uh, so storm front, and you got a little bit of stormy design going on there. Jim Busher, Jim Butcher, Busher, hey Busher. Jim Butcher, signed edition. And I'm a big fan of signed editions. That's what I came here for today, a signed book. I love 
signed books from the publisher. I love books that are autographed by the author in general, but when it comes from the publisher signed to me, that gives it a little bit of extra credence, a little extra stock. And then when you get quality books like Easton Press has with their sewn bindings, the nice quality leather covers, the 22 karat gold gilt page ends, built-in ribbon marker, and other stuff like a certificate of authenticity signed by Jim Butcher, somebody else whose name I don't know, as well as Jeffrey P. O'Neill, publisher, dated December 27th, 2021, a couple days after Christmas. Jim Butcher was busy signing my book. I hope it didn't spoil your Christmas vacation, Mr. Butcher, but I appreciate the effort nonetheless. And Merry Late Christmas to all of you, by the way. It's only six months late, but that's life. Sometimes life gets ahead of you. Here is, turn it upside up instead of upside down. A note about Stormfront and the author, Jim Butcher, by Easton Press, signed Modern Classics. These are neat little touches. It's a thick cardstock paper, and it feels like letter press, but I don't know, printing. And it tells just a little bit. Like it says, a brief note uh, about the, the book and the author. So nice touches. I like the little extra stuff that you get with a signed edition. Uh, here's our end papers. You got a uh, textured end papers. I like to make that sound. A uh, signature page. This leather-bound edition of Stormfront is personally signed by Jim Butcher. There's my signature page. And I don't know, but typically these signed editions are not chock full of artwork. But I'm going to look anyway, just in case, just in case, see if they might have snuck something in on me. I don't see anything yet so far. So just as I suspected, uh, just as I suspected, <clears throat> no interior illustrations. There is uh, uh, some good news in here. A lot of the Easton Press editions that I've shown you have had some small to medium small font and large margins. Uh, I'd say the font on this book is more typical hardcover font. Nothing big, nothing small, right there in the in the middle. Maybe uh, maybe even slightly larger than normal, I guess. But anyway, good enough for me. If I'm gonna read it, this is this is good. But I'm not because I've already read it. Maybe uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of books in the series. So homie like me has no business reading the first one over and over again when you got so many in the series. And uh, uh, that's Stormfront by Jim Butcher, a Harry Dresden novel. Starts off the series from Easton Press. Very good. I recommend it if you're so inclined. If you like signed books, if you like Easton Press, if you're a fan of Harry Dresden, and especially if you're a fan of Harry Dresden and you don't want to shell out many, many hundreds of dollars for the other officially signed limited editions from the other publishers, this is a good option. And this is the option that I've taken. That's why I've chosen it. So I'm very happy with the book. And before I go, I want to leave you in closing with a message from Harry Dresden himself. <clears throat> My name is Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden. Conjure by it at your own risk. When things get strange, when what goes bump in the night flicks on the lights, when no one else can help you, give me a call. I'm in the book. I got no more lies to tell. Thank you for your time. Say la vie, baby.